Okay, so here we are down on the floor. Um, we've got our A3 sheets and we're ready to start laying them out and joining them together to make one big sheet to start cutting out our plane. Um, so all I've got with me is a roll of masking tape to start tacking the sheets together. And I've even got my iPhone here and I'm using it as a bit of a light table. Um, you can decide how you want to do it and it depends on the lighting in the room. But we've got just some little um, crosshairs and we need to join them up and I've put them on um, so that it's easy to know exactly where to join it up. So don't go looking for the corners of the pages and start to join them up or measuring out. All you need to do is line up this little crosshair with a crosshair next to it, put them over top of each other and tack down a bit of masking tape. So I've got one of my Year 11 students here to give me a hand to get this done. So we're just going to be working away for a little while and uh, we'll see you at the other end. So there we have it guys, we've got an A0 uh, piece now and we're just going to put some tape on the back of that. We've tacked it all together and you can see now we've got uh, our body, we've got flaperons, we've called them flaperons because they're acting as ailerons and flaps in this particular model. Um, different people will give them different names but we'll, we'll call them flaperons and you've just got to be careful of the right and left. We've got the uh, elevator and we've got a fuselage, wing and rudder so we're going to put them up on the Depron sheets now and uh, start cutting them out. I'll just pull over, hang on a second, we'll just pull over a uh, Depron sheet and I'll just show you that the sheets have got um, sort of slices of what we had last time. So I've um, notice I've got a line down through here. Um, that's so that everything fit onto one sheet and then everything else left over would fit onto the second sheet. So we're going to give you two sheets of Depron to get all those parts cut out onto. So we'll uh, come up onto the table and have a look. Okay, so here we are. We've got our A0 sheet layout in front of us. Um, we're not supplying this for you, but we've got some K mats. Um, you probably should be able to find some in, in your school. Otherwise, an old scrap bit of ply or something to cut on. Uh, and just some safety rules, so rather than cutting along the edge of a steel rule, uh, you can keep your fingers right out of the way by using one of these safety rules. And uh, we've even put in the knife for you, so if you can't find a standing knife, we've got a little um, cut off blade here. Whether you use that with your students or not, uh, that would be up to you. So, only other thing is a few thumbtacks, and uh, what I've used some thumbtacks for are to pin the, the um, paper down onto the Depron in parts that you don't need. So find little areas on the sheet that you don't need and that will just hold it in place so it's not moving around while you're cutting. So again, I'll get my Year 11 to come over here and uh, give me a hand and we're gonna start cutting out all these pieces. Uh, only thing to be careful of is that on the flaperons, uh, the elevator and the rudder, you can see we've got a double line. Um, not to cut on those lines, we need to cut out around the whole shape and that double line is gonna show us where we need to do the 45 degree angle. So let's get to it.
Okay, we've uh, cut out half of our, our parts uh, on one sheet. We're about to start in a second. We've just noticed that we've got some um, little bubbly bits here. I'm bringing up closer to the camera. Just some tearing bits on this straight edge. Um, this particular edge needs to be remain straight because we're going to put a 45 degree on that. But uh, this is a, a trailing edge. So this is a trailing edge and out here we could probably actually make them uh, rounded. So edges that don't need to go attached to a different part of the plane. So if we have a look on this prototype we've made up. So these edges are going to have to stay square but other edges like this one um, we could put a rounded edge on there and, and uh, that would stop where it's chipping out. So we might have a go at that as well and show you how we go after, after the end. So let's start cutting. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we've got all of our pieces cut out. Uh, we've left the pieces of paper just showing us which they are so that you can don't get the uh, flaperons confused. We've um, also cut out these little servo holes. So I've, I've put the squares there for you to cut around. Um, the two slots here, just try and be really careful with those. So this slot here needs to be about 6mm wide so that this step on piece fits in together really snug, ready to be glued together. Um, and yeah, just try and be as, as smooth as you can because the better you get it now, the easier it's going to be to join up. So we'll, uh, we'll start gluing and sticking it all together and making this plane a bit more like a, uh, a remote control plane. 